Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make a set of washcloths. So here's one of them right here. There's the stitch there. It's actually really easy. Just a two row repeat. Makes a nice little texture there. Go ahead and give it a measure real quick for you. Let's see. 11 by 10 and a half. So that's how big they are. Of course, you can adjust the size if you like. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, for this project, I am using um, sugar and cream. It's a medium four weight, 100% cotton. The brown uh, wardrobe that you've seen is made out of peaches and cream. It's also the same. It's a medium weight um, for 100% cotton. The color I use dark taupe and coral. Of course, you can use any colors that you wish. Um, there are, let's look at the yardage. Um, it's right, right in front of me. 120 yards per skein. And one skein will be enough to do one wash rag. You won't have much left, but it'll be enough to do one, one, um, wash rag. Um, now, if you don't have to use this yarn, you don't have to use this brand, but I strongly, strongly recommend that you use a 100% cotton medium four weight. I would not use acrylic. That's just my recommendation. Now, I think Premier Yarns has a cotton. It's like 85% cotton and 15% uh, polyester, maybe 15% something else. That would be okay. But nothing below an 85% cotton for a dish rag. I mean, you, you can. I mean, I can't tell you what to do, but that's just my recommendations. So if you can, try to get it 85% or 100% if, if you can for um, for these. And I'm also going to be using a size I, which is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Now, as always, I'd like to just take one second to ask you not to forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my um, tutorials or anything. If you look in the lower right-hand corner of the screen right now, you can just go ahead and click on that uh, little red subscribe button, and you'll automatically be subscribed, and you never have, you'll never miss any of my tutorials or anything else that I put on. Also, if you like these wash racks, um, you could give this video a thumbs up for me. That'd be awesome. So we're going to start out with the slip knot on our hook. Now, if you don't like the size of my um, wash rags, you can make them bigger or smaller. Or you can use this stitch for something else. Um, this stitch is done in a multiple of two. So you can chain any number of chains that you want. As long as it's done in a multiple of two. You want to follow along with me um, in making the same size, uh, same size that I did. I started with a chain of 30 six so we're going to go ahead and do our chain of 36 all right once you get your chain of 36 done we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a single crochet into the third stitch from our hook. Now remember, we don't count this one that's on our hook, so we count over three. One, two, three, and in that third stitch, we're going to put a single crochet. And then we're going to work one single crochet in every single uh, stitch for the entire length of the chain. Just like that. All right, I have made it to the end of row one. Now you should have a total of 35 stitches and that is counting this little chain here on the end. It's really tiny, but this counts as a stitch. So you would count that as one, two, three, four, and so on. And you should have 35. So rows two and three are the repeat rows for the entire uh, wash rack. So what we're going to do for row two is we're going to chain two. Now that chain two is going to count as a half double crochet. Now we're going to work a special kind of cluster stitch. And I'll show you how we do that. Okay, so we're going to yarn over. We're going to go into the very same, very, very, very first stitch right here. 
this very first one. And we're going to draw up a loop. And then we're going to yarn over and go through the first two loops that are on our hook. Now we're going to skip the next stitch. And in the next stitch, we're going to yarn over. So remember, we're skipping this one. And then the next one, we're going to go in and draw up a loop. We're going to yarn over and go into the same stitch again and draw up a loop. You will have six loops on your hook right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to yarn over and go through all six like that. We're going to chain one. And we're going to do the cluster again. And we're going to start this, the, the very first stitch that we're going to start our cluster in is the same stitch that we just ended the cluster in. So what we're going to yarn over, go into this same stitch that we just ended that cluster in, and draw up a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two loops on your hook. Now we're going to skip one stitch and yarn over, skip that one and go into the next stitch and draw up a loop. We're going to yarn over again and go into that same stitch and draw up a loop. Six loops on your hook, yarn over and go through all six and then chain one like that. And we're going to do it again. So we're going to yarn over, go into that same stitch that we did our last cluster in, draw up a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook. Skip one stitch. Yarn over and go into the next stitch. Draw up a loop. Yarn over again. Draw up a loop in the same stitch. Six loops on our hook. Yarn over, go through all six. Chain one. And that's what we're going to repeat the whole way across to the end of the row. So again, we are going to, you do our cluster, we're going to yarn over, go into the same stitch as our last cluster, and draw up a loop. And we're going to yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and skip one stitch and go into the next, and draw up a loop. Yarn over, go into the same stitch, and draw up another loop. Six loops on our hook, yarn over, and go through all six loops. Chain one. Just like that. So I'm going to repeat that to the end of the row. I'll go ahead and do it one more time. Yarn over, go into that same stitch, and you draw up a loop. And you yarn over and go through those first two loops. Now we're going to skip one. We're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch. Draw up a loop. Yarn over and go into the same stitch again. And draw up another loop. Six loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through all six. And chain one. So I'm going to repeat that all the way until the end. All right, I'm coming to the end of round two and I'm going to show you how we end it. We have two stitches left. I just finished this cluster here and I chained one and you should have two stitches left there. Counting that little chain there on the end. So what we're going to do is we're going to do another cluster. So we're going to yarn over and go into that same stitch as that last cluster and draw up a loop and yarn over and go through the first two loops. Now we're going to be working in the last stitch, which is actually this chain here. We're going to yarn over, go into it, draw up a loop, yarn over, go into it again, draw up a loop. Six loops on your hook, just like your regular cluster, yarn over and go through all six. Do not chain one here at the end. Go ahead and just yarn over. Go directly into that same last stitch again and do a half double crochet. Just like that. 
So the only difference there on that last cluster is you don't chain one. So we'll go ahead and look and see what we got. If you count what you have, you'll have one half cluster on this end and one half cluster on this end, and you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen full clusters. And then the t the, these two half ones on the end. And that will complete row two. So row three is we're going to chain one and turn our work. We're going to put a single crochet right back into this very first stitch. And then we're going to put one single crochet in every stitch across. So we'll go into the next stitch and single crochet. And the next one and single. So it's just one single in every stitch. Some of them might seem a little tight like right there, but still got to go into it there. Make sure you get every stitch so your stitch count comes out correctly. So I'm going into the top of every cluster. In into that uh, chain one. And I'm going to do this until I get to the end of row three. Okay, when you make it to the end here of row three, your last single crochet is going to go into the top of this chain two here that we did on the previous row. So just go right into the top of it, single crochet, and that'll be your last one. And now you'll have a total of 35 single crochets. You're going to have the same amount we, that you started with on row one. So we're just going to repeat rows two and three till we get our project as tall as we want it to be. So for a row four, we're going to repeat row two. We're going to chain two, which counts as a double crochet, and turn our work. And then we work our cluster. So we yarn over and go into this very, very first stitch, drop a loop, and yarn over and go through the first two loops. Then we're going to skip one stitch and yarn over and go into the next stitch, drop a loop, Yarn over, go into the same stitch again. Drop a loop, six loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through all six and chain one. Again, we're going to yarn over, go into that same stitch as the last cluster. Drop a loop. Yarn over, go through the first two loops. Then we're going to yarn over, skip one stitch and into the next stitch. We're going to go in and drop a loop. Yarn over, go into the same stitch again, drop a loop, six loops on your hook, yarn over and go through all six, and chain one. So now we're just repeating row two. All right, I'm coming to the end of row four, and I'm just going to show you how to end it. Remember, this is just a repeat of row two. So I just did my last cluster, and I chained one, and I have two stitches left. I'm going to go ahead and do a cluster, so I'm going to yarn over and go into the same stitch as my last cluster, drop a loop, yarn over, go through the first two. I'm going to yarn over and skip one and go into this last stitch, drop a loop, yarn over, go in again, drop a loop, six loops on your hook, yarn over, go through all six. Do not chain one at the end of this row, remember? You just go ahead and yarn over, go into the same stitch again, and do a half double crochet. And that's how you end it. And then we're just going to chain one and turn and we're going to repeat what we did for row three, which was just the single crochet row. Remember we just chained one, turned, single crochet in the first stitch, and then every stitch all the way across.
just like that. If you flip it over, actually this is the right side of the work. Show you on the brown, you can see it a little better. This is what the right side looks like. It's got the little, I think it's a little lines going down it. And this is the wrong side, but if you ask me, either way, it's pretty. I like either side, actually. So I guess either way you can make the right or wrong. But I think technically this is the right side where the, it's got the lines going down it. But whatever you prefer, it's your wash rag. So we're going to keep repeating rows two and three for a total of 22 rows. If you're following me, you can definitely make it any size you want. But I did 22. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up my 22 rows on this piece. And I'll meet back up with you after that. And we'll go around and we'll clean up all the edges on it. So 20 uh, repeat rows two and three for a total of 22 rows. All right, I just finished my 22nd row and you should, the 22nd row should have been a um, cluster stitch row. So what we're gonna do is edge the whole thing now, clean, them all, clean up all these edges and make it look nice. So we're gonna chain one and turn our work. So now we're on the front side of our work, which I said the front side kind of has these little lines of, or little pieces of the yarn going straight down if you could kind of see it. So we're going to start off by working three single crochets into the very first stitch. It's like this is going to be one of the four corners that we work three single crochets in. That just helps it to lay flat. Now we're going to continue by working one single crochet in every stitch until we get to our next corner. All right, I've made it across the top here. Now I'm at the end of the row and I'm at um, this uh, chain two here from the previous row. It, we're gonna, it's gonna act as the corner stitch. So we're gonna go right into the top of it and we're gonna work three single crochets. Like that. Now we're gonna go along this side here. Now, as you can see, it's gonna be pretty hard to see where your stitches need to go. So all that I ask is that you do your best to evenly spaced out your single crochets all the way down. So I just kind of try to evenly space them out the best that I can, kind of at the end of every row if I can. If not, you know, I just, do the best you can. That's all you can do. You just do the best you can and you can't do any more. But it's still going to look great. So I just work down, evenly spacing out one single crochet all the way down. Trying just to kind of, I don't know, it's, it's a little hard, I guess, but. Just do the best you can. Just kind of just putting it at the end of the row, I guess. Just like that. And you want to do this all the way down until you get to your to your next corner. Okay, I've made it to my next corner, which is right here, kind of where we started. You see, this is your beginning string. So I'm gonna go into that stitch and work three single crochets to round that corner. Three singles into the same stitch. And now I'm gonna be working across the bottom, putting one single crochet in every stitch and you should be able to see the stitches pretty well here along the bottom of the piece and I'm going to do this until I get to the next corner
okay I've made it all the way across the bottom and I'm at my corner again so I'm gonna go ahead and put three single crochets into this last corner now you're gonna be working on the side again and it's gonna be really hard to see where you need to put your single crochets and again just do your best to kind of evenly space them out I kind of grab a little bit on the end of that cluster and then right here I believe is the next single crochet row then the end of the cluster the next single crochet row it's hard I mean like I said it's just hard to see but you'll get it so I'm gonna work this evenly space out one single crochet and every stitch up this last side here until I get to where we started. Okay, I've made it back to where I started. You can see here's where I put my three single crochets there in that first stitch. Now I'm going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first single crochet that I made. Not the chain one, but the first single. Stitch into that. And I'm going to clip my yarn off and hide that tail. And that is what it looks like. Nice clean edges now. That single crochet row really helps to clean it up. Once you get this towel hidden though, that is it. That's all there is to it. Pretty easy. Let's go ahead and weave your tail through the back. So I'm going to go ahead and finish weaving in this tail real quick. All right, that's it. Now that on that final row of um, edging, now your stitches, will, the amount of stitches you have at the end will probably be different than mine because remember, we just evenly spaced out the best that we could. So we're probably not going to have the same amount, but that's just fine. As long as you, um, it's all evenly spaced and looking good. Um, if you're doing the edging and it starts to feel like it's, uh, I don't know stretching or bum 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 up like that that means you don't have enough stitches so as long as it's laying flat and just like that that means you did good so that's it that's all there is to it i hope you enjoyed my tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel this is all the yarn i have left out of that so just enough to make one one wash rag um like i said if uh don't forget to subscribe don't forget to check me out on facebook i'll put a link below in the description box where you can um check out my uh, facebook fan page so if you make these or any of my other tutorials you can show me a picture because i always like to see everybody's work i'll put there's a link below to that in the description box don't forget to check out all my other tutorials i have hundreds of them and also please don't forget to give this video a like and if you look in the upper left hand corner right now of the screen you'll see a picture of my face if you click on that face you'll automatically be subscribed and you'll never miss any of my updates so until next time thanks everybody have a good night